Hey everybody, welcome back to Stasis. We're now in episode 12, and on the last episode we found out that we have to remove our personal data tag from our own head. We have to do that in here somewhere. Um, but also upon looking at my previous video, I realized I've missed a few things, and I need to go back and get them. So I've got the oxygen cylinder, got the personal data tag, loose cables, now I think I can't remember what I... Probably I think I missed something. Idea. So if I get the loose cables, attach that to Maybe the oxygen cylinder wrapped with cables. Now I think if I... Actually, if I go back in here... We've read this PDA. If I go in here, let's try and do something with these storage tanks. Let's have a look. Cryopreservation tank. Aha, uh -huh, he's picked up something there. What is that? Let's have a little look at our inventory. So he's got an empty stasis fluid container. Okay, what else can we do? O oxygen storage tank. So we can obviously do something with the oxygen storage tank. Let's see if we can put this in there. The steel tank stores oxygen-rich compounds under high pressure. There's something else here. Organic receptacle. What do we have? I remember what it was now. Back, I think it's through here. The, you know where we saw all the dead bodies? Yeah, all the blood stains and stuff. I think there must be something over here. We've got a PDA there. Blood and tissue. Okay, so now that gives us that gives us a body part. All right, what do we got here? Is that something on the floor? No. Okay, so let's go back through here now. Let's see if we can look through this force field. Ooh, but we can't get through there yet because the force field is on. Okay, so let's go back and try and do this operation on ourselves. So, surgical tray. So this one here is an organic receptacle, so I'm kind of thinking we need to put something in there. So, can we do something with the body part? The stainless steel tray bears a faint splatter of biological tissue across its surface. Let's try, try to do something. Oh, ooh, how is he using the pistol to like cut open or do something with that tissue? <laughs> I'm definitely getting better at these games, figuring out. I've never. This is the first ever type of game I've played like this, so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Refined organic material. You imagine yourself as a doctor in a space opera, barking a sharp line of dialogue to identify this piece of machinery. Mm. No. Aha, there we go, he's putting it in the... Okay, so that's working. Anesthetic storage. Oh, I turned it on, cool. Alright, cryopreservation tank. Tiny ice crystals appear on the polished surface of the cryo tank. So there's nothing else I can do here, is there? Surgical pod bed. So maybe I need to do something with the personal data tag. Ah, uh, I know. If I go back to... Where was it? Is it in here? No, it's through here. And then down to this room here. I think there's a computer we can access. Yeah, I remember the medical bay terminals. So maybe we can use the PDT to access, because that's obviously a personal data tag of someone else, to access the medical storage uh, computer, the medical bay terminal. 
Jeffrey Bay, personal data tag detected. Elizabeth Swanson, there we go. Force field off. So, yeah, that should allow us to go through where that force field was blocking us. Remember we just looked through it? Hopefully we should be able to get through there now. There we go, it's off. Sweet. All right, go in, John Marrakesh. Now, let's have a look. What have we got in here? Discarded stasis pod. This pod looks like it hasn't been connected in quite some time. Stasis pod. Disconnected. Empty stasis fluid container. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Another empty stasis no, pod. So we've got some chemical symbols here. I wonder what these mean. CH... CH2, nitrogen, oxygen. Hmm. Another empty stasis pod. Again, same thing. Torn apart door. Uh oh. We can obviously go up there then. Broken stasis control terminal. So it looks like there's something we need to do with our. with the stasis state in order to take out our personal data tag. That's what I think. All right, what's this? Stasis pod. Impossibly, in the middle of all this slaughter, there is another survivor. Clearly alive. What? It's here. A survivor. Is someone alive? Not exactly. He's in stasis. It could be dangerous to wake someone from stasis without the proper procedures being followed. So who the hell woke me? Get him, John. We need to think about the mission. Forget him. Well, maybe we need to do something with him. Empty stasis pod. This familiar, the familiar stasis pod design is the harbinger of sadness. It's like a little computer here, though. Maybe you can do something. Here, that's a pretty cool picture. Oxygen, oxygen. Hmm. <sighs> what do we do? What does we do? Let's see here. Empty stasis pod. I'm going to have to go through here, I think. This door is made from medium strength industrial compound, but has been torn apart like paper. Whoa. It's medium strength, but something has just ripped it apart. Okay. Where are we now? Legs. The femurs have buckled in opposite directions and have been ripped from their sockets. Whoa. Another body. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Burke Carter, February 20th. Be still, my beating heart. I saw the most divine creature in hydroponics. She's friends with that nurse, Erica. Erica gives me the evil eye, but Sadie... Sadie is just a divine thing. Curves in all the right places and the face of an angel. I keep trying to come up with reasons to visit the medicinal hydroponics section. She never sees me, though. I'm not trained medical staff. Those soldiers in the recover recovery rooms give me funny looks if I'm at the window trying to get her attention. I have to find a way to speak to Sadie directly. I've seen her head to the decontamination room, and she seems to go there after every shift. I might try and strike up a conversation by one of the machines, maybe offer to buy her a drink. I'll do it tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow, because I've got a double shift. Still, it takes a brave man to work on unknown sciences in the bosom of the cosmos, doesn't it? Like the jocks back at school would ever be able to do what I friggin' do? I risk life and limb to repair essential electronics, and that takes courage. I may not be a soldier, but I think I have the right to call myself a man of courage. <clears throat> Excuse me, May 20th. What's with the shutdown? Jesus, nine days now? I've been trying to get through to the surgical pods for a week. I gave up going to hydroponics to see Sadie after they started restricting access to unnecessary personnel. So now I just hang around product storage by the vending machines, hoping to see her. But when I do, I just choke up. Damn, I'm so pathetic. I'm reading this book by Arian Sanchez. It's about the eugenics wars. I'd love to know more about this eugenics wars. That sounds amazing. It's friggin' amazing <laughs> that we're even allowed to do what we do on the Green Lake. What with what happened all those years ago. I have to hide the book, though. Dr. Malan saw me reading it in the rec room, and he went totally apeshit. Threatened to burn the book and fire my ass. So now it stays under my pillow, and I sure as hell don't take it on my rounds. Instead, I bring one of the Panjayan series by W.C. Dark with me. Is that his real name? Doubt it. I love Major Plowtoll. He's incredible. Sometimes wish I'd had the balls to be in the Marines rather than engineering. I'd love to be like him. November 23rd. Rations arrived today. Nobody is impressed. It's all emergency shit. 
so hardly gourmet, but man, I wasn't expecting much, but this is seriously bad. Because food's short, people are going bugfuck. <laughs> Lotus punched Malone. Broke the poor bastard's nose. Steve's having trouble keeping everyone's fists off of each other. I keep asking why we can't just raid hydroponics, but they keep shouting me down, especially Sadie. She looks so pissed when she sees me, but nowhere near as pissed as when she looks at Dr. Malan and Dr. Al Raj Cooper. She must despise me. Why didn't I just ask her out before? Because you're a coward, Burke. A dirty, stinking coward. December 18th. The power went out again. I'm so freaking scared I can barely breathe. Those rumors of animals prowling around medical? Not rumors. I saw one guy ripped apart by one of those things. Couldn't make it out too well. Pale skin. Tails, I think. Tails. More than one. Hmm. They move around like a pack of dogs, and they're strong. Okay, there's more than one of them. Great. People are scared and hungry. I kept a small stash of food in my quarters. I didn't even tell Steve about it. I feel ashamed for keeping it to myself, but people are getting crazy, man. I think it might actually be against regulation to hoard food. Miglietto would kill me if he knew I had rations hidden. Come on, the guy's nuts. He practically strangled me the other day. Carswell had to restrain him. Body still frigging kills from the operation earlier. Steve was nominated to reprogram the security turrets, and the guy just went and did it. He's a hero, not like me. Now I'm just a coward. I'm a friggin' murderer. I used those poor bastards in stasis to keep those god-awful things from getting to me. I just unlocked the stasis units and began the recovery process, so that when they staggered out of the deep freeze, those things were waiting for them. I found a product storage room that nobody was using and locked myself in. When the breach was reported, I heard the screams. I pissed myself. <laughs> I fucking pissed myself. Is that any way for a real man to behave? As I ran, I saw Sadie cradling her best friend's bloody body in the corridor. The worst friggin' part isn't that it never occurred to me to stop. I just hoped... Is that it never occurred to me to stop? I just hoped they'd buy me the time I needed to find a hiding place. That's who Burke Carter was. Whoever finds this, and I know somebody will, he was a coward. I just hope that the computer parts in his PDA come in handy to whoever finds this. If my hide was this useless in life, the least I can hope is that something I left behind will be useful. Ooh, computer parts, eh? Where are these computer parts? PDA, stasis pod chip. You gonna pick it up, mister? Here we go. So... We've got a stasis pod chip, so we can probably put that in the stasis machine that we couldn't access earlier. No. No, that's why. Hmm. I thought he said it was computer parts, but maybe he just meant this bit here. Alright. Let's go back. See if we haven't missed anything first. Empty stasis pod. Maybe we need to do something with one of these. Let's have a look. Stasis pod chip. This isn't going to work. Alright, that's not going to work. Hmm. Maybe. No. Yeah. About no. this one. Let's try it on the one with the guy inside it. No, that won't work. No? Okay. Let's head back to the operating room then. Which was my initial thought. Maybe we can use it in here somewhere. Stasis pod chip. Cryopreservation tank. No. Crazy. Hmm. Main surgery pod base. Surgical pod bed. We need to do something with oxygen storage tank. No, we need to we need to do something with this cryopreservation tank, but what? Empty stasis fluid container. There must be a stasis thing that we can use. There has to be. It has to be in this room. Maybe it's this one down here. Let's try this one. Hmm. Maybe. Stasis pod chips. No. Stasis fluid container. Let's try putting this on there. That's just crazy. No. Although. No. Crazy. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. It may break. Hmm. How on earth do we get past this bit, guys? Damn. Struggling. I don't think that'll work. It's got to be something to do with these. Mm, I don't think that'll work. Broke. Aha! Broken stasis control terminal. Stasis pod chip maybe goes in there. 
Yes. Ooh, now what do I do? What the heck? Ooh. Ooh. What do these do? So something needs to be done with the head, because the head's most important, I'm guessing. Aha! Maybe we should drain it so the guy comes out. No? Ah. Maybe we need to use empty stasis fluid container on hmm. here? No? Maybe. Hmm. Let's take another look. Nothing else we can click here. It has to be something to do with these. Ooh, you can change you can change the molecular structure. What the heck? <laughs> I want to change him and turn him into a mutant. This must be how they changed the uh, the people. It must be. So it looks like he's got like an injury or something there. Oh, that's red. And up there too. So this is definitely a puzzle. Aha. Uh -huh. I know. Let's take a look at one of these and see what it says. So this refers to the head. So we need to use number four for the head. Okay. This is cool. I love this. Number four for the head. No. no. Is that right? Number four. So the NH O. Let's take a look again. No, that's not right. So it's got four. I guess that's the level of uh, fluid we need, maybe. So we've got an N and an O over there. CH, CH2. All right, let's try that again. Um, yeah, it's that one. All right, so that's for the head. So what else do we have here? We've got one there. Let's try this one. No, that's for the head. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Okay. And we got one here. So that's for... Looks like it's pointing to like the chest area. So we've got NCH3 molecule. Okay, let's try that then. NCH3. It has to be that one. NCH3, then we've got H3C. So let's double check that. NCH3, H3CN. H3CN. Yeah, that's the one, I think. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so now let's find another one. Stasis pod. Let's check this one. Alright, so this is for... Where's this pointing to? Like the abdomen? Maybe? Oh, we've got to get these numbers right as well. So, OO H3 CSO3. OO H3 CSO3. see it. Oh, oh, H3CS. Hmm, I don't see it here, guys. What do I do here? Hmm, okay. Stasis port, that one. Hmm, this is really tricky. Empty stasis pod. Three. O O N H two maybe. Let's check that again. I don't think that's the right one. I don't see it here, to be honest. What the heck? Hmm. 
All right, well, the only ones we can be sure of then are the head, which needs four. One, two, three, four. And the abdomen, which needs one. Yeah, number three, so that needs one. Ah, maybe we can look at the number so it's number three uh -huh. again number three really come on John Marichek we can solve this number three again still doesn't work hmm this is very tricky are there any more stasis pods around that we can look at discarded stasis pod Discarded, empty stasis pod. Am I missing anything? What am I missing here? Broken stasis control terminal. Maybe let's try the empty stasis fluid container now. Hmm. No. Let's try it on there. That's just crazy. Although. Although. Are you going to do it, mister? This is strange, guys. I need to figure this out. Hmm. Hmm. Still trying to figure this puzzle out, guys. It's pretty difficult. I don't quite know how to do it. I'm going to try and mess around with it and get it to work. So if we try free on this one and number three, there's no visible change that it's making to it. Wow. I have spent a little while playing around with it, so I'm trying to figure it out slowly. Uh, number four and four. No, still not working. Two, three, five. Let's try that. Oh yes, we have done done it. Uh oh, this guy's coming out. What the hell? He better not be mutated. Uh, hey, dude. What the hell? Is he dead? Okay. Yeah, I need you too, Tia, but where do we go next? <laughs> Dead occupant. Pale face is contorted into a hor an horrific grimace. Doesn't look like he's dropped anything. Alright, well this has been quite a long episode, guys, so I'm going to thank you for watching. And um, please, if you, if you are considering it, please uh, support me on Patreon. I'm on there www.patreon.com forward slash redneck einstein um, I'm trying to make this channel work full time and if you feel like it just donate a dollar a month or something that would be amazing oh, God, you guys are just so fantastic so far with your support just keep the comments coming guys thank you ever so much take care bye bye